Among the tall buildings in Balestia stands a two-story villa built in the 1880s. Today, it is a museum dedicated to the legacy of Sun Yat-sen. The author of this book I have here was also the owner of the villa and a supporter of Sun Yat-sen and the Chinese Revolution. This book was published in 1933 it depicts the involvement of the overseas Chinese during the Xinhai Revolution, also known as the Chinese Revolution of 1911. It also highlights Singapore's role in the Chinese Revolution to end more than 2,000 years of imperial rule in China. The author, Teo Eng Hock, was a merchant and rubber tycoon. He and his younger brother bought a villa called the Bin Chan House for their mother and renamed it Wan Ting Yuan or Serene Sunset Garden. He was also one of the founding members of the Singapore branch of the Tong Meng Hui, uh, an underground resistance movement by Sun Yat-sen to gather support for the Chinese revolutionary cause and raise funds for its activities. The villa became the base for local Tong Meng Hui as well as the Alliance's headquarters in Southeast Asia. The author documented about 100 letters and memos relating to the resistance movements in his book. It contains many rare first-hand accounts and primary materials of Sun Yat-sen's activities. Tio also shared his own experiences in establishing the Singapore branch of the Tong Meng Hui and describes the involvement and sacrifices of the Nanyang Chinese in various uprisings in China. The book mentions that it was in Singapore that the design of the Tong Meng Hui party flag was being discussed. Teo Eng Hock's wife embroidered four draft designs and an image of the embroidery can be found in the book. This book also contains several photographs of Sun Yat-sen's visits to Singapore. These photographs are valuable as there are very few of such pictures of his whereabouts as they have to be kept secret deliberately to evade detection by the British colonial government as well as assassins hired by the Qing government. As a librarian, I feel fortunate to have access to these documents which provide a clear view of Singapore's role in China's 1911 revolution this is all thanks to a generous donor, Mr. Tan Yeok Seong, who donated the book in 1964 together with many other items in the Ya Ying Kwan collection.